Hey everybody, Joe here for JVC. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Wi-Fi enabled Avario to use a wireless access point. Connecting your Avario to an access point gives you greater range than a direct connection and allows you to use features like home monitoring, record and send videos via email, easy storage functions, and broadcast over the internet using services like Ustream. There are four ways to register the Avario with an access point. WPS, which is the easiest, search and register, manual registration, and WPS pin registration. Let's start by looking at WPS. To begin, tap Menu, and then the Wi-Fi icon. Scroll to the right and select Common Wi-Fi Setting. Now tap Access Points, Add, and select Easy Registration WPS. Now activate the Wi-Fi protected setup on your wireless router, which usually consists of pushing a button on the router marked WPS. If more than two minutes go by before you locate and press the button, just repeat the previous steps and try again. After registration is complete, tap OK on the Averio screen and you're done. The second way to connect to your access point is by using the search and register method. In this approach, the Averio will search for available access points and you could choose the network you'd like to connect to from the list of results. To begin, tap Menu, and then the Wi-Fi icon. Scroll to the right and select Common Wi-Fi Setting. Then tap Access Points, Add, and then Search. After a few moments, a list of available Wi-Fi access points will appear. Select the name of the access point you wish to use from the list, enter the password, and tap Set. After registration is complete, tap OK on the Averio screen and you're done. The third way to connect to your access point is to enter the name and security settings manually. This is useful when your access point isn't broadcasting its SSID. To begin, tap Menu, and then the Wi-Fi icon. Scroll to the right and select Common Wi-Fi Settings. Then tap Access Points, Add, and then Manual. In the space that appears, type in the name of a wireless network you wish to access, then tap Set. Next, select the type of security used by the wireless router. If you're unsure, it's okay to try them one at a time. For any of the options besides none, you'll need to enter the password for the network and tap Set. Once the registration is complete, tap OK and you're done. The final way to connect your Averio to an access point is by using WPS pin registration, where you enter a pin code generated by the Averio into your router. This approach requires some knowledge of how to administer your router as well as a router capable of accepting a WPS device pin. To begin, tap Menu and then the Wi-Fi icon. Scroll to the right and select Common Wi-Fi Setting. Then tap Access Points, Add, and then WPS Pin. The Averia will display a unique pin code that you will enter into your router. The approach will vary depending on your router, but in general, once you've logged into your router's administration screen, look for Wi-Fi Protected Setup or WPS. There you should find a place to enter the code generated by the Averio. You can check the user manual of your particular router for more information. Once the pin has been entered, tap Start and then OK and you're done. But be aware that the connection will fail if you tap Start before entering the pin. By setting up your Averio to use a wireless access point, you can now create an indoor or outdoor monitoring connection, which will let you control and monitor your Averio from virtually anywhere, and let you use streaming services like Ustream. To use your Wi-Fi enabled Averio in a Ustream broadcast, you'll need a Ustream account and the free Ustream producer and LoiloFit software installed on your PC. Then just start an indoor monitoring connection on your Averio and launch the Ustream producer software. To add the Averio to Ustream, click the Add Camera Shot button and select Add Averio Wi-Fi Video Shot from the list. Your Averio will appear as an additional source or shot 
for you to use while creating your Ustream broadcast. This video covered the steps to connect your Vario to a wireless access point, which when used with an indoor monitoring connection, enables features like home monitoring, easy storage, and internet broadcasting services like Ustream. The next step is to connect to your Vario from anywhere on the internet, and for that, you'll need an outdoor monitoring connection along with a free JVC Dynamic DNS account. Check out the additional videos on those and other topics to learn more. Until then, I'm Joe for JVC, and this has been another one of the ways a Vario is part of your totally connected lifestyle.